give you a look at the great Sandy Koufax and that painting of the left-hander who had his brilliant career here in Los Angeles 50 years ago today, June 30th, 1962. Sandy Koufax threw the first of four career no-hitters. He had a perfect game in there. And in that first inning, it was against the Mets. He threw nine pitches, struck out three, and that was a sign of things to come. Now, in that game, Mike Vergardner brought his son, Bob. And now here, 50 years later to the day, the two are in the stadium as Bob brought his dad, Mike, and sitting between them is our own Ken Rosenthal. Kenny? Thanks, Joe. Bob, talk about this idea and how it got started when you decided to come. My dad and I were at the uh, first Sandy Koufax first no-hitter on June 30th, 1962. And while we were after the game, after the game was complete, I was six, my dad was 29. The game, my dad bought an ashtray and, and, and painted in the box score of the game, including Sandy Koufax no-hitter. And it's my favorite personal possession. So I always, I always look at what's happening on June 30th, and it's the 50th anniversary of the game and 50th anniversary of Dodger Stadium. And they're playing the same team, the New York Mets, on this very same day. So we had to be here. And that's, that's why we're here, and that's why we're sitting and talking to you. Now, Mike, you told me before the game you were a little disappointed that Kershaw wasn't pitching yeah, because you I, thought with Kershaw, history might repeat. Well, that's true. I thought with Kershaw, a left-hander like Koufax, uh, we might get to see another no-hitter. You know. What do you remember about the Koufax game? About the Koufax? Well, you know, it, it was during that whole series of games that the Dodgers didn't score a lot. You know, Kind of like now. And yeah, kind of like now, uh, Maury Wills was stealing bases. You know, he had that big 102 stolen bases that year, and so on. So there was a fairly good crowd, as I remember. It was a nice Saturday evening, and uh, a lot of go 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 when Maury was on base. And and after you know about the sixth inning, the idea that you may be seeing something special started to kick in, and you could. You could hear it in the stands and the people talking and, you know, and so on. And it kind of built, you know, from there. So by the time you got to the eighth, ninth inning, every, every out was a, a major affair, you know. Well, Mike, happy 50th anniversary. Thank you. Bob, to you too. Joe, back to you. All right, Kenny, nice job. And Mike, by the way, will turn 80 on the 1st of August. And glad to have those two gentlemen with us here tonight at Dodger Stadium.